All right, hello everybody. My name is Luis Cervantes Oropesa. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University studying computer science. Enough about me, let's get into this. All right, so today what I'm gonna be teaching you guys is literally how to read values from the distance sensor like this. You guys could are able to implement many things. So this is just a short little demo just to kind of get a taste of how to set up the sensor, how to use it, how to read data from it, like what you could actually use it for and all of this other stuff. All right, so we're gonna first start off by actually importing. The, the distance sensor so um, distance sensor all right so now we're gonna set it up so distance sensor I'm gonna call it D sensor and then okay so now I actually need to initialize. So I need to initialize the hardware kind of how we do for the DC motors and everything else, servos and everything else. So we're gonna do D sensor dot hard uh, why is it not working? Oh. <laughs> okay. Hardware map dot get and then just the sensor dot class and then I'm gonna name it I don't know distance sensor so this is all I have to do to set it up so now I just know I love functions so we're gonna use a function and public void and then it's gonna be Distance. The reason why I do avoid is because I'm not trying to return anything, I'm not going to catch any values, it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing is. Okay, so so first I want to be able to read, it, read the value. So I'm do a double is equal to value, which is equal to d sensor dot. Yeah, so as you guys know, when we press the dot, we can see everything has code equals to string, get yeah, class, weight. So we could do we could do all of this, all of these things, okay? But we're trying to get the distance. So uh, okay, so when reading the actual distance, you can read it in inches and in centimeters and mill and meters, millimeters. So you have the option to read all of this so me preferably I love inches so when I do inches and then so for example let's suppose I'm like okay I want to know if I'm between the range of 5 to 10 inches I want it to be this and that okay so, so let's say if value is greater than 5 and value is less than or equal to 10 I wanted to do something so essentially in a way to where you could use this so like let's suppose uh, for example for this year's tournament where you guys had to shoot the disc a very good strategy would have been if you guys would have calibrated your motor in a certain way so it would launch only as the maximum amount of distance like that it's not it's way more predictable and everything you could have used the distance sensor to calculate the distance between the robot and the wall and based on that distance you'd be like okay is it gonna be able to make it or not yes you yes could have your driver to be like hey the distance right now is 10 10 inches it'll be like okay that's too close okay now it's 30 inches okay you know like our launcher works between 20 to 25 inches and then like that you guys could have been able to have a way better robot way better chance of actually making the disc and it would have just been way more efficient so that that's just a small way a small trick that you guys could have done it so now you guys could have, i don't know make it make make it do something or as i mentioned if you guys would have wanted to do that strategy the one i just mentioned you guys could have also as well gone telemetry dot add data and then we're gonna do distance and then we're gonna so what this would do is that um 
this would display the, the distance to the phone that the sensor is reading it. So every single time it loops through, it's going to be calling this function, meaning that every single time it's going to keep on reading in the value, keep reading in the value. And obviously, you know, this, this is going to, you guys could do this in your autonomous. Obviously, you guys know an autonomous is a little bit different. It's just literally just one snippet of code difference. But however, at the end of the day, it's the same thing. So this code is just, this code I just created is super short and simple. This is just to show you guys how to actually use the distance sensor. Um, so you guys could get just a general idea because it's crucial to be able to read in values and to be able to know what it does. Since the distance is not so complicated, it's fairly short and easy and simple code to understand. So this is why this program is just really small and short because I just wanted to show you guys how to set it up, how to actually read in the values and everything. So thank you for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to watch the rest.